So what's going on toxic gamers it has never been this over till today ladies and gentlemen how we all doing man because today the news that is coming out man these seconds are crazy these seconds are insane for this one man we're also going to talk about gta 6 because we got leaks about the ps5 pro and prior to all of this when we got when we were getting leaks about ps5 pro and the specs and all that we heard that don't expect ps5 pro to run gta 6 at 60 fps <laughs> like the video if you want gta 6 running at 60 fps dislike the video if you don't want it running at 60 fps okay because today we, we got a holy smoke we, it, it ain't no jokers okay we gotta get right into this one if you do use x twitter i would definitely love to have you there let me show you some kishish all right let's get to it okay because this is what we're hearing right this is gonna be the console design right i know it says 9.99 but let me just zoom out real quick okay guys it's not 9.99 it's six six hundred ninety nine 99 okay yeah so we're hearing that the ps5 pro it's gonna be 700 dollars now although these are just leaks okay these are just leaks don't let your dogs out okay but right now everybody's <laughs> everybody's looking like this bro everybody's out on the streets and the funniest thing here is that so far the leaks are saying yes this is a concept art based off of the leaks that we're receiving that and we're hearing that the design of the ps5 pro is gonna look like that bro i don't care about the design to me, it do, it does look good. It does look good. I don't necessarily care about the design. I care about the hardware, though. Yay! It don't matter uh, how how pretty she looks. It's all about the hardware. Okay? Can she cook? Can can she clean? Is the hardware intact? I just care about whether it got like the RTX 40 billion or 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 not. Okay? Like I don't want to get the RTX uh, 200 or some crap like that. Okay? I want the RTX 5 billion. That's a, that's a metaphor, okay? But you you know what I mean, right? So I don't necessarily care about the design, but I but what we're hearing is that the, there is gonna be so far there is no mention of the disc version. Oh, shit. In other words, we're gonna be getting a dickless, or I should say a disc. <laughs> we're gonna be getting a discless version. In other words, there's only news about the digital edition. Oh, Yay! And it can be 700 US dollars. 700 US dollars. Now, think about this for a second. I got a video that I want to share with you guys. Clench your, clench your butt cheeks. Put your seat belts on, man. Let me know where you guys at, man. I'm in Montreal, Quebec, okay? Canada, baby. Canada, okay? And 700 US dollars, that's approximately a thousand, guys. A thousand! A thousand dollars! A thousand dollars! Plus 15% state taxes. It's gonna be 1150 if we're looking at this way, okay? But I do believe that they're not gonna charge 700 directly or i should say 1000 directly in maple canadian dollars i believe that it's more gonna be like uh maybe 850 or something like that maybe 850 with 15 percent taxes it's almost gonna be a grand a thousand dollars do you think that's worth it so no disk drive and so far what we're hearing this could be fa false and i hope this is false but this is what we're hearing uh, from the experts and this one is coming from digital foundry based off and they have done the study uh and they're knowledgeable uh but still keep in mind they were saying it as in assumptions and it was rumors but they're knowledgeable about it and this news is based off of the spec leaks on ps5 pro so this is not a hundred percent but you know what it's more so than just a rumor right now and, and based off of the spec leaks we heard that that hey man if gta 6 is gonna be 30 fps on the normal ps5 and series x well don't expect this junk to play <laughs> at 60 fps on the ps5 pro okay so that's what we're hearing right now and, and bruh like why just why 700 dollars and you're saying that gta 6 cannot be played at 60 fps <laughs> and on top, you're gonna give us the dickless version, bruh. You're gonna give us the gay PS5. Is that what you're gonna do, bro? <laughs> what? You say it's crazy? Okay, let's get into it. What's up, gay Brewster? Shout out to the homie Dream Kuska. Kuska here. And or PlayStation Kuska. He always has a controller. Damn, homie. Like, why? Why? Okay, roll it. Today, we're talking about the PlayStation 5 Pro because pretty much officially, every detail of it has just leaked, including the price of the system, and it's more expensive than I thought it was going to be, a possible release date when we're going to see it and most importantly how ugly the system is but let's talk hi hope you're having a great day and if you could please give this video a like and subscribe i mean to be fair though to me it does look all right but even if it looks ugly like who cares yeah sickers just care about the hardware can it play the games can it play gts 6 at 60 fps can it play that's all that matters man that's all that matters maybe i'm the only one Maybe uh, people care about the looks more than the actual hardware and its capabilities of playing games at uh, maybe perhaps native 4K and 60 FPS. 
Right, or native 1080p, let's not even go above uh, 1080p. <laughs> I just want games being good, story being good, games being fun, 1080 60 FPS. That's where I'm at, man. That's where I'm at. Simple, simple, simple. Let's keep things simple, okay? Let's keep things simple. Let's not even exaggerate. Let's not even go any further because the circus over at these publishers, these game devs nowadays, they be having a hard time, man. Let me know where you at with it. Agree, right. disagree? If you haven't already. I actually just woke up about 35 seconds ago, so if I seem a bit brain scrambled, <laughs> I seriously opened my eyes and had 8,000 subscribers sending me these articles and notes, but I want to start with this, which is where this information has actually come from, which oh. is Bill Bill Coon. We've talked about this guy in the past, and he clearly has some sort of very deep official access to Sony servers. He has talked about hardware, about games, even stuff like the PlayStation Plus monthly updates. This guy knows stuff that literally nobody else knows. So he said, the wait is over. It took me some time to finish the drawing of this system itself, but here is the final design of the PS5 Pro final. with <laughs> other details, including the announcement window, the fact that it's all digital. Oh, Damn, God, we're going to talk about that, and the fact that Bro. it has an included controller. So first and foremost, hey, yo, this hell, is man? what it looks like. This is the PlayStation 5 Pro. Some people are kind of making fun of the fact that it's not that... Yeah, the, the, the design is based off of this one, I believe. What? Yeah, so this was leaked and people are designing. I mean, it don't even look that bad. It don't even look bad. Uh, and even if it looks bad, like, who cares about the design? I, I want the price being good. They should price it appropriately. I want games being running at 60 FPS. Like, what are we talking about, man? Damn, when she turns, I want that to be in 60 FPS. I don't want that to be in like uh, 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 30 FPS. I want that to be smooth like that. You feel what I'm saying? Damn, like the video if you agree though. Updated. There's definitely been a crowd of people that like to make fun of the look of the PlayStation 5. I guess, to me, I don't care that much about how a console looks. As long as it's got good games, as long as it's at least not too terribly ugly, I'm the kind of guy where I get a console and I put it behind my TV. You know, or, or if it's got a disc drive, I put it under the TV. I'm not having people come to my house and go, well, there's the old PS5, you know, so. It definitely does look like the PlayStation 5 Slim, but just slightly bigger. But. Uh -huh. Here's the details that actually matter, Slightly. which is when we're going to see it and the price of it. So there have been a lot of rumors that there's going to be some sort of PlayStation state of play at the end of September, which is when Tokyo Games... State of play, man. It better be like a full-blown showcase, man. Where are the games, Sony? Where are the games right now, bruh? Like, we need games, man. We need games, man. Like, damn. Imagine getting, like, cons consoles after, uh, after consoles. Now, I'm not against the idea of PS5 Pro... I rather get PS PlayStation 6 in a year from now or two years from now instead of getting PS5 Pro this year, right? I rather see like a bigger leap than just PS5 Pro. You feel what I'm saying? Uh, some of you will probably disagree and that's fine. That's fair though. You can disagree. But here's the thing though. Still, uh, this is what I prefer, but I'm not opposed to the idea of us getting a PS5 Pro. I guess uh, it's going to bring in conversation. Uh, I guess uh, we're going to talk about it, this and that. Yeah, yeah, you know, whatever, right? But if you want it for my honest take, like, I'd rather, like, you know, get PlayStation 6 in a, in a year's, two years' time. Than, because either way, we're getting PlayStation 6 in three years' time. You, you feel what I'm saying? So, yeah, this is just going to be a mid-gen refresh. We're still getting PlayStation 6. In three years from now, we're hearing 2027 uh, right now, and uh, this year is almost done. So yeah, by the end of 2027 is uh, when we're getting. God knows, maybe they drop it by the end of 2026. At least that's when we're hearing the next Xbox is gonna be. Uh, the, the, these are not necessarily rumors. This information has come from uh, when you know Sony and Xbox were fighting to acquire Call of Duty and Activision. So this is how we know this information. Now, surely the information can be changed, but it's not rumors is what I'm trying to say. This is coming directly from PlayStation and Xbox uh, when they were beefing <laughs> in a courtroom to acquire Call of Duty, okay? So this is not rumors. This, uh, however, is a little bit of rumors, but we all knew that it's coming. And apparently now it's bigger than just rumors. Uh, a lot of the insiders are talking about it too. But still treat it as a rumor. This one, at least the price and it being a dickless version, the, the gay version and all that, right? Yeah, for now, it's uh, like... Take that as a, as a rumor for now. Show for is now. coming up. So this is interesting because Sony has not even bothered to actually do much advertising for the last couple years. I know a lot of PlayStation fans have been annoyed about this. The fact that back in the day, Sony would constantly be bragging about their own success, talking about yeah. the next exclusive, the next big project, the Man. next big collaboration, or even just say, hey, here's why we're kicking the most ass. And now PlayStation is definitely still way in front, but they don't take the time to actually advertise. 
So they have not actually gone to Tokyo Game Show for the last five years. So Crazy. them going is cool because we'll probably see Astrobot, but there's also the Kojima teases. So there has been some rumblings that we're going to see Death Stranding 2, which is a PlayStation 5 exclusive, we're going to see it at Tokyo Game Show. So, not a big shock. That has now been officially confirmed by Kojima himself, but he keeps tweeting out these pictures, these cryptic photos that says, been assembling the game, but look, the PlayStation 5 that he's currently making the game for is yeah. covered up. Now, a lot of fans have noticed the fact that he's Damn. being so secretive about it. This is probably a PlayStation 5 dev kit, but uh, some people are assuming, what if this PS5 is a Pro. PS5 Pro dev, dev kit? kit. But mm. Here's the uh, and according to Tom Henderson, he said it like a couple of months ago that the dev kits were sent to devs already. So so yeah, like I wouldn't be shocked. Uh, I wouldn't be shocked. But man, seven hundred dollars, you guys are crazy. Even six hundred dollars, that's insane, man. And us getting a digital only version, or at least that's what we're hearing, it's gonna be only right. That's insane, man. Like I feel like that they're gonna pull a bait and switch where maybe perhaps like in the very very beginning they release a digital version and they're like, you know what, uh, this version gonna come out a year later, a year later, just incentivizing people that cannot control the urges to buy D1. And as a YouTuber, like, yeah, I I don't wanna buy, but as a YouTuber I have to buy. You know, I don't wanna buy though. Like that's yeah, like we having these problems right now, man especially if they do something like that where you know uh, yeah a lot of people will be pissed if they for example right they release digital only only version and people buy it and then a year later they release a disc version right people are gonna be pissed they're gonna be like yo wow what the hell release both of them together so i have a choice between a disc and a digital version you feel what i'm saying but if this is only digital and if it's digital only plus 600 or 700 us dollars Man, that these suckers are out of their goddamn minds. Right? Part of it that I think is going to make or break the success of the system. It sounds like it's going to be revealed here, you know, in the next couple of weeks, and then it's probably going to come out uh, early October, late October. Here's the part though that I think is what might actually piss people off. Yeah, it's coming out. There is an edition that does not have a disk drive. Now, I've seen some varying prices, some leaks, some people are saying that it may be that the system itself is $600. So $600 just for the PlayStation 5 Pro, just the system, just the guts, $600. $600. And then Holy. in most regions to get a detachable PlayStation 5 disk drive that costs an additional $80. Like right now, I have a PlayStation 5 Pro. I bought a PS5, or sorry, not a PS5 Pro. I bought a PlayStation. Oh yeah, oh crap. Okay, yeah, so Sony did release that, that little thing, right, where you can uh, disk drive kind of, right? I believe even if you have the digital PS5, you can buy that $80. Uh, you can pay $80 and get that. <laughs> yeah, that's like brilliant right there. Brilliant. <laughs> I, I believe PS5 digital was 450 and PS5 was 500. So they, yeah, see, like it should have been 50 bucks, but they're like 80 bucks, okay, 80 bucks. Gotta make that paper though. Gotta make that paper. So yeah, I remember there were like people, um, there were some complaints about it too when that originally came out. I think maybe they're gonna release it digital only, but then you can also attach a disk drive. But that's gonna be so lame though. Yeah, that's gonna be so lame because in my mind, I could be wrong. In my mind, the way I'm picturing it is that you got the PS5 digital, PS5 Pro digital, and you connect it via USB, and the disk drive is kind of like hanging around, you know what I'm saying? Like on the side. Bro, I want it to be inside, bro. I don't want to like uh, extra dongle like out there, bro. Like, damn, man. You should fight Slim to review it last year, and that video did very well, so I'm probably gonna buy a PlayStation Pro so I can review it, but it's weird that the Sadly, PlayStation I, I Slim was originally pitched as the beginning of the price drop. Like, in the past, with every other PlayStation generation, you get the fat console at launch, and then a revised tinier edition. We got the PlayStation 1, and then the PS1. We got the PlayStation 3, then the PlayStation 3, you know, even with the PSP and the PlayStation Vita. Every time you get a PSP, and then the PSP slip. So, the fact that they actually did this, and then did a price bump. Normally, with every console, but especially PlayStation, they release the system, the revision, and then price drops. That's just a cycle of to yeah. continue people buying it. To now, now, if you're somebody that's not like a journalist, or right, like you're not a reviewer, you're not doing YouTube, Twitch, or you're just like, hey, you, you work a job, right? So whatever that is. If you're if you're not a reviewer, 
are you gonna buy ps5 pro uh, let me know in the comments uh, you're you're thinking about buying it and if you were thinking about buying i mean that's fair it's your money you do you uh just asking genuinely right like there's no gotcha moment here okay like are you looking to buy or are you not looking to buy i, I want to know like how people are feeling about it because yes you can complain about the price being $700 and that's genuine. $600 or $80 for disk drive, $680 or they're gonna release it for $700 like a disk version. What? These seconds are crazy! Even I have to say these seconds are crazy and I'm sadly looking to buy though. You know what I mean? Because of YouTube purposes and review purposes and this and that. Bitch, I, I don't wanna. I don't wanna. But like, damn, man. A and yeah, like, so if you're not a reviewer and, and you're somebody that 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 is like, okay, the price is too much you might even complain about it but are you because like yeah maybe you're gonna complain about it maybe you're not gonna complain about it okay forget about that part complaining or no complaining are you gonna buy or not because at the end of the day that's what sony cares about right that's what these publishers these companies care about are you giving them your money or you're not giving them your money now for sure like if it turns out that gta 6 is gonna be 30 fps only and, and graphically you don't see much of a difference then i might not buy simple as that i might not buy yeah, if it turns out that PS5 Pro is not gonna be uh, uh, running GTA 6 at 30, because then there's gonna be no point. I guess right now the only thing is that GTA 6 is gonna look better on it, 60 FPS as well, and 30 maybe on the normal PS5. So there's like a little bit of incentive there. And I, on top, I know some people would like, well, buy it on PC. Well, we're not getting GTA 6 on PC at least day one. So there is that. Maybe it's gonna come out a year after, two years after, three years after but we heard it's gonna come out eventually you never know it might not but it's gonna let's be real i'm exaggerating i feel like when i say that it's gonna come out right but we don't know when exactly usually it's like a year year and a half but maybe this time it would be different maybe this time it would be different maybe it's gonna be longer than that or maybe shorter than that even nobody knows is what i'm trying to say so people that are looking forward to gta 6 which is a lot of people okay a lot of people want to see that game i'm i'm only excited for that game uh, that's the only game that I'm looking forward to right now. I, I hope that they do not turn Jason into a into a strong independent female in the game. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> I just hope the game is good, man. Simple as that. That's what I want. 60 FPS, really good quality, good story, good gameplay. A and at the very least, 1080, 60 FPS, okay? I'm a simple guy. I'm a simple guy, okay? I'm not even asking for 4K, 60 FPS, man. Just give me 1080, 60, and I'm happy, okay? All right, let's get to it. Continue that reach, they keep dropping the price, where in this generation, the PlayStation 5 is actually getting more expensive in most regions of the world. So if they come out with this, if the PlayStation 5 Pro costs $600 flat for the digital edition, that to me seems like a weird move. What if it's more expensive than that? What if it ends up being yeah. like $700 in a lot of the world with the additional $100 fee to buy that the extra disc. beefy freaking disk drive? I actually want to take a look. And, at and I could be wrong, but already like I'm hearing people say that in their uh, in their countries. This is why I'm saying like, let me know where you guys at, right? Because in certain countries, depending on your currency, you might be and, and when you convert your currency the price you're paying for a ps5 at the end it might turn out to be more than just 500 us dollars so in return you're paying more than a person that might be in the us if you catch my drift if you understand what i'm saying right so in in some uh, countries you're paying more than 500 dollars in your currency let me know where you guys at so i think there's gonna be this uh, thing as well with ps5 pro and 600 dollars honestly man seems possible oh, shit. Oh, you know what why because the normal ps5 is 500 dollars right and in some countries it feels like that you're paying 550 us dollars like i said when you can uh, uh, convert your currency uh, and on top taxes uh, this and that it's insane man it is really really crazy so if, if it's really six i i believe it's gonna be 600 dollars but gotta have a disk drive man damn so digital only 600 Th these seconds are out of their goddamn mind bro something real quick uh did i, did I close it i, I had a, a tweet by pile yeah here this i noticed a lot of people replying the fact that even if this does cost 700 dollars with taxes it's still insane Crap. i noticed a lot of people saying like look man if there's no disk drive I i'm probably gonna spend 700 dollars upgrading my pc a new cpu and ram for that money yeah i mean a lot of people are basically Fair. saying like even Fair. if this is a very very powerful comp and, and on top if you're you're just gonna game on pc you don't have to pay like a hundred dollars or how much uh, how much it is right now 
in your country, in your currency, uh, per year to just play games online. It's insane, man. Uh, gamers deserve free online. As a brown man, I demand our generation, our young generation, our future generation to be able to play PlayStation and Xbox games on PlayStation and Xbox for free online, though. <laughs> I'm not saying for free, free in a, in a way where you're getting the game for free. No, 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 not even talking about that. When when you pay seventy dollars for a game, you deserve to pay play the game for free online. I mean, it's not even free. You bought the game. You paid for the game. These things are crazy, though. So if people are going PC only, I understand. The only issue right now is that uh, GTA 6 not being on PC at least uh, day one. You know, you know what I mean. So even if this is actually a big beefy boy. I'm curious to see when we're going to hit too expensive. Like, there are some leaks and rumors that apparently this will be by default be a PlayStation that's all digital, but it could come with a two terabyte storage drive. Bruh. My thing is that- Oh, oh how cute. Oh, how cute. Call of, <laughs> Call of Duty would take half of it, bro. More and more games are taking up 150 gigs or 200 gigs. I think the new Call of Duty is something absolutely jaw-dropping, like three or 400 gigs of storage needed. <laughs> He's not lying. Uh, a homeboy of mine sent me a picture and I heard that news a while ago, right? He didn't even had like all the Call of Duty's games installed. He had Wars uninstall black ops cold war and modern warfare 2023 uh and modern warfare 2023 warzone 300 gigs and black ops cold war was a separate download he had that was a hundred gigs so 400 gigs for three of these games right yeah like it, it's insane it, it really is insane that's because of the assets like if you're playing games that are 4k 4k assets are ginormous uh, unfortunately so and I, and I believe he didn't have everything installed for black ops cold war that's why it was 100 gigs because usually it's gonna be more i think this having two terabytes of storage that's going to fill up incredibly quick like unless you're playing a bunch of indie games or old final mm -hmm. fantasies over and over <laughs> again like my dumbass does this seems like a ridiculously high cost and i am beginning to worry about I worry because I want the industry to be more liquid, to be more fluid, to be more profitable, and it seems like as costs keep going up, I have said this in the past already, I do think the PlayStation 5 Pro has a good chance of flopping, at least. I, I think it's gonna, if it's really like 600 700 dollars, 600 no disc, 700 with disc, uh, yeah, like, it's not gonna run well with a lot of people out there yeah reviewers gonna buy like I, listen man i should be happy about it right but i'm not like 700 dollars bro you guys crazy right a, 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 and what we're hearing is that it's not even gonna run gta 6 at 60 fps now of course this is like i said that's a rumor this is what the experts are saying but like damn if that turns out to be true then what's the purpose and, and uh, by the way i have a playstation 5 i should have mentioned that way earlier in the video i mean most of you guys know i have ps5 but, but still like for the new people here like they might be thinking hey, 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 xbox andy xbox andy right of course there's gonna be a whole lot of xbox andys that, that are gonna clown clown on it and ride fully bro I feel like that Sony Ponies and uh, Xbox Andys should come together and we need to appropriately, not 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 clown for the sake of it, but clown it appropriately or in other words, you know, criticism when it's due. Criticism for the right reasons, uh, criticisms for making products and asking better products. We deserve better than that, man. Like, damn. Holy crap, you thank you for subscribing. Guys, check out this video on the screen. We actually had some good leaks, good gameplay leaks, good high uh, leaks even for GTA 6. Check out this video on the screen. Uh, I talked about it in this video. On the left, we got another one of those drama, man. <laughs> check out these videos and I'll see you right there.